Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. We have a great show today, but before we get to that, I wanted to remind you of a few things. We have two great books on Amazon that will help you get the Big Four job that you deserve, and I've included links to those books in the show notes. Additionally, I wanted to remind everyone to make sure that they subscribe to this podcast to stay up to date on the latest Big Four news and career tips. Also, make sure to share the show with a friend if you get a chance. Lastly, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I'll include links to all our social media in the show notes. Thanks, and enjoy the show. Today, I wanted to talk about technology replacing accountants. In our previous podcast, we spoke about Deloitte coming up with a new audit tool that uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to perform an auditor's job. More specifically, the tool will be used to get rid of monotonous routine tasks that an auditor has to perform. With that being said, will this and other technologies one day replace accountants? In our prior podcast regarding this new technology from Deloitte, which is called Avenir, we mentioned how there was an executive within Deloitte who came up with the idea for Avenir because he couldn't get a good night's sleep, knowing that there could be technology out there that could eventually one day replace what Deloitte was doing for their clients. And that right there proves to me that one day it is possible for technology to replace accountants if top executives of the big four are worried about it and losing sleep over it. If you want more proof that technology is on the minds of the largest accounting firms, you only have to look at their latest revenue reports. In all of the latest reports, all the firms talk about technology and the implications on the future. In Deloitte's press release, they made the following statement. Deloitte said that they are developing integrated cloud-based solutions that, among other things, will leverage advanced machine learning techniques natural language processing, and graph-based algorithms on big data to enable cognitive and predictive capabilities. This will inform better decision-making and help address and mitigate clients' risk issues in key areas like conduct, cyber, extended enterprise, and product and quality. Now let's move on to the next accounting firm that mentioned technology in their press release. The next accounting firm that mentioned it was Ernst & Young. And EOI had the following to say in their 2017 revenue release. ENY has a holistic approach to digital transformation and innovation, which is embedded across all service lines and sectors. Significant investment in people and new technologies have allowed us to respond to the dynamic environment. And this is another example of a big four accounting firm talking about technology as it relates to accounting. And that quote was from their CEO, Mark Weinberger. So you know it's important. It's not just a standard press release released by their marketing department. It's coming straight from their CEO, who's obviously concerned about technology. Now, the next statement comes from Bob Moritz, who is PwC's global chairman, and he made the following statement in their 2017 revenue report. Around the world, clients are focused on growth and driving value for stakeholders while navigating an increasingly complex world and managing risk. We are working to help them become digital organizations and use technology to drive solutions. Now, as you can see, all three firms that have released their revenue reports mentioned a renewed focus on technology as part of their future strategies. This goes to show that technology is on the top of all the big four firms' minds. So what is the takeaway? Should you rush out and change your major to computer science? Did you do the wrong thing by going into accounting? No, you don't need a degree in computer science and you didn't choose the wrong major or career. My point isn't to scare you out of pursuing accounting as a career. Accounting, and especially big four accounting, is a great career. My point is that you need to learn about technology and especially how it will change the accounting industry and be able to speak about it with other accountants. You can do this in a number of ways. One of the best ways is subscribe to this podcast and also visit our website, big4accountingfirms.com, as we'll discuss the technologies and how it affects accounting. Another way is to read books that we have recommended before, like Blockchain for Dummies and The Mathematical Corporation. And I'll include a link to a page where we have a list of all our recommended books that will help you learn about new technologies like blockchain, natural language processing, and artificial intelligence. You don't need to become the most technological person, though. You just need to be technical enough to keep up in conversations. You don't want to be seen as out of the loop in the technology space. Technology is a big trend in the big four. In order to progress in the big four, You need to stay ahead of trends and be able to speak about them to your superiors and or clients. The people that don't progress in their careers are the people that are stubborn and don't learn and don't adopt new trends. I know it is hard to adapt and change, but that is just part of the big four accounting firms. So make sure you start your technological education today.
To stay up to date on all the Big Four news and changes in the accounting industry, make sure to subscribe to this podcast. We'd also appreciate it if you could share this podcast with a friend and provide us with a review on iTunes, as that will allow us to continue to provide you with the best Big Four content and news possible. That's all we have for today. Thanks for listening.